Hello there and welcome to Catherine's Garden and Home where we grow, 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 grow together. Well, I want to just do a tour of the deck and show you some of the different flowers and how they're coming about. It looks really, really pretty here in the morning. Then also just do a quick walk about and look at the changes that are happening and see what to anticipate for the month of July that's coming up real soon. So come with me as we do a morning walkabout here in Catherine's Garden and Home where we grow, 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 grow together. Good morning, good morning and welcome to Catherine's Garden and Home where we grow, 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 grow together. Well, this is what the deck looks like right now, this morning. This is the last Saturday in June. And I think we've come a long way. Things are looking pretty good here, I think. And I do like how the cushions on the deck chairs are um, really setting the tone for the floral arrangements and actually pulling everything together. And I love the uh, natural, colorful, beautiful look that's here. My strawberries have really um, settled in here on the deck and every time I think about moving them from this location, I hesitate because they look happy and I do want strawberries so I think I'm going to leave them here for a while uh, before I move them out into the garden let's see if we can get some strawberries uh, developing here what I want to show you that is happening right now is this beautiful beautiful container of annuals just the regular petunias and the beautiful coral impatience to me that looks almost like red white and blue I think it's just in time for July 1st or 4th of July mm -hmm. and also my calla lilies are starting to show some color I think I'm going to have a flower soon now these three containers has the calla lily bulbs from Costco and um, it's going to be interesting to see how they uh, fill out and what they end up looking like in the end but I remember the color scheme it was a white I believe and a more purpley maroony color so um, I think it's going to look really nice with the container that's there and in my two uh, white containers there I have marigolds and also this beautiful nasturtium there are also African daisies there. I don't know how well they're doing, but the nasturtium looks happy. And that is definitely going to fill out. More than likely, I will be transplanting them to a different location. But for right now, I just want them to uh, develop and grow. So this is the corner, <laughs> one corner of the deck. The roses are finished, as you can see, and it would be good for me to cut them back and they will rebloom, but they will rebloom anyway because uh, this is just a beautiful rose, uh, climbing rose, Cornelia rose, and it makes little uh, rose hips too. I am still enjoying my floral bouquet, cut flower, wildflowers here on the deck. They um, 
It lasted a while, since Wednesday. Wednesday is when I had cut them and put them in this face and um, they're just looking really, really nice here. I just like the combination with the Bee Balm, the Cosmos, um, the Chamomile, or Chamomile, and um, I found out that these are pot marigolds or calendula, calendula, and it just looks really pretty here. One of my gardening friends noticed my basil. You know, this basil was um, seeded from a pack of seeds from the Dollar Tree, the American seeds, and I just sprinkled it in this container and it has really just uh, taken off. Looking really, really good. I believe that I will thin it out as it goes along, but I just like the fullness. I like how it looks here and it smells fantastic. And I have been clipping and pinching him and putting it in my food. I do like the convenience of having it right here available to me. Um, I could just step out of my kitchen and clip some basil to put in the food. One area of the deck that I am extremely happy about is this area right here and that pot. Finally, I believe this bowl has come into its own. Just very beautiful. And it's just filled with plants, um, annuals, and uh, I just really like it. I transplanted, actually, two of the basil plants in, into this pot. And look at how quickly it's grown. So definitely basil, if you're given a little bit more space, will grow up. But I think it just complements the um, cult, um, this plant here. Um, coleus, coleus really well. And uh, then this is the petunia. And we have pansies uh, from the spring, pansy here, and then this is a geranium. And the color combination, you may not think, well, that's what I'll put together here. But for some reason, it just works and it looks really great in the blue bowl with um, the other bowl too, peeping out, the terracotta. Now, in this container here, that's my mint, my orange mint, and spearmint. And that, those both were from rooted um, cuttings that I placed in water. And look at how quickly they filled out. My rose is there, and I just want to leave it. Um, it's a new rose that I got from Lowe's. And I want to see its flower, so I just think that I'm going to leave it there, let it flower, then pot it up, I mean plant it out actually in the front garden. The other thing that I want to bring to your attention is this, my nod to the wildflowers. Uh, this is supposed to be a perennial mix from the seeds, um, the American seeds, and I actually winter sowed these and then transplanted them into a pod. And this is what I've gotten. I like the blue and the, um, the new flower. In this container, I have um, this mix. It's the perennial mix 
that I got from the Dollar Tree, a seed packet that I had sown in the winter uh, sewing bottle or container and uh, this is what has happened. I transplanted that into a pot and I've put the pot in a container here and I just wanted to see well what were the perennials that were in that seed mix. Well they gave me bachelor's buttons here. The blue which is beautiful and it really it looks good with the container that I have it in. And then I believe that this is a um, it's like a cosmos but it's a different or coreopsis maybe um, tick seed. I think that that's what that is. And I like the combination of the blue, the yellow, and the brownish colors of uh, this flower. I think they look good together. There are some other flowers here too, or plants. Um, we'll see what they are as they open up. I assume that this is um, Black Eyed Susan. I think that these are Black Eyed Susans, which are great because I don't mind putting that in the garden. I wouldn't mind having some Black Eyed Susans in my garden. But for right now, I think it just looks really pretty here. Eventually, I will be transplanting it and putting it in the garden. Behind here in the Dollar Tree pots, I do have some marigolds that I had seeded. Uh, I think they're yellow. Um, I want to first see what they are, let them flower and then um, I will uh, put it into the garden or I might just leave it here. I have two containers. But I love the upfront color. And I just love how this looks. And as I said, I just think that the cushion the cushions on the chairs just pull everything together. It helps to make it all make sense. So I put in these pots the geranium and I'm going to pull them out and take them and move them into a different location so that I can uh, see them and that they can grow. So they, they did very well here. So I'm pulling them out and then um, Eventually, I'm going to remove uh, these wildflowers in this corner so that you can really see my beautiful blooms of the hydrangea here, the oak leaf hydrangea, which is growing so well in this corner. But these wildflowers are so interesting. And I like the colors of the poppies. And uh, there is a red poppy that had opened up here. Really pretty. It's a little wild, but uh, eventually what I'm going to do is remove them from here. And uh, I think I'll do this again next year to seed them in and see what we get. After
after walking about and finding these two beautiful pots of geraniums that I had up front, I've decided to bring them up here on the deck so that I could enjoy them. And then eventually I will move them back into the garden. But for right now, I just think this just looks so nice. Well, thank you so much for joining me here at Catherine's Garden and Home, where we grow, 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 grow together. And it is always good to bring the beauty close up, to just enjoy your flowers, enjoy your garden, and uh, make sure that you do your own Saturday morning walkabout, too. Have a good day. Grow, 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 grow together. Catherine's Garden and Home. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to Catherine's Garden and Home for more wonderful, beautiful, inspiring videos that will help you as you garden this year. Remember, we are gardening intentionally. So come and join me here at Catherine's Garden and Home and let us grow, 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 grow together. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time right here in Catherine's Garden. Bye.